the nonprofit will continue to exist. In fact, if we do a good job, it will be by far the most well-resourced nonprofit in history. And I think it will continue not only to uh, enforce the OpenAI mission and, and govern OpenAI, but do an amazing amount to deploy the resources using AI for benefit to the world. Um, the thing I'm personally most excited about, although there's several things it can do, is using AI and using money with AI to advance scientific understanding of the world and sharing those benefits. So if the nonprofit can you know, help cure a bunch of diseases and then make the by applying AI to science and make those cures freely available. That'd be wonderful. Yeah. Um, we already do have a for-profit entity, um, but we're recapitalizing that. Uh, and so it'll have a more normal corporate structure. Okay. You raised a lot of money. Recently, it was a 300 billion round, and a few days later, the announcement of a 500 billion round. Now, NVIDIA announced a 100 billion investment, I think, on top of that. Um, so if you look ahead, what is your vision for OpenAI, let's say, 10 years down the road? I mean, 10 years down the road is a long time. Like, you know, wait, we're, we're not okay, even 10 years old yet. Five years. Uh, but I mean, what is the, I wouldn't call it an end game because there's never an end game, hopefully or always uh, development. But but what is the, the boldest division, you, uh, but the boldest vision that you that you could imagine for that company? There's never an end game. There is a smoothly rising exponential. Right. But uh, the, you know, in five years, I really do hope we're in deep, not deep, we're somewhat into this world of, AI discovering new science, where AI is being used to cure disease, to invent new materials, to fully understand physics. And I, I am a, I am a true believer in the idea that all or almost all real sustainable human progress comes from discovery of new science, and then how we apply that to the economy and society. And for the first time ever with GPT-5. We are finally beginning to deliver on that promise in small ways, but you see these reports online of scientists using AI to make new discoveries and it's blowing their minds and I'm just so excited. So I hope over the next five years, we could really get into that phase.